hello friends welcome to my classes today i'm going to tell you about how to import an autocad file into state pro first of all go to autocad so here uh, this is our plan so first of all you have to draw a center line plan for this i'll enter now click here join this now join this one now join this okay now join this one okay now join this one okay and l enter again now this join this one then just uh, extend this lines okay l enter then extend this line here from here also okay so extend this lines from here also from here like this also okay l enter extend from here here like this here okay from <coughs> l enter enter okay now extend this lines okay so extend from here like this okay okay yes extend this okay so now after extending all the lines okay similarly like this okay so this one this one okay and alter this one now from here this one this one and l enter this one mm. so this one also from here this one and here okay so was first of all you have to trim this extended line trim this extended lines okay you have to trim this extended lines you have to trim this extended line from here then similarly trim from here okay so now you will see that the central line plan will be created and it will look uh, like this okay so now just select this press control C option then go to this uh, this file okay so this one uh, it will it will look uh, like this and in the new file you have to paste here copy and paste here okay so this will be looked like that now this file you have to import okay to the um, AutoCAD so just save it as DXF file now DXF file select here then save it on desktop okay it will be 652 name it as and okay so just save it here um, click on save option so you can see that your DXF file has been saved. So now, so before <coughs> before doing this, uh, okay, you have to close this file also. So close this file, DXF file, okay. Now, okay, and uh, okay, close this file also. So now go to Stat Pro. Now click on this file options click on import now go to import provide the path for this so desktop path this is open this okay okay so this is our structure has been imported now let's go to this um first of all save this okay save as i'm saving it as six five nine two one three four okay so save this and um documents okay i'm saving it here okay save this now <coughs> okay this has been saved now just select this hole and you have to go to geometry and go to transactional repeat here then select I'm just assuming it a example that uh, I'm assuming number of steps is 3 and uh, this is 100 meter I'm assuming it here okay so this will our building will look alike and go to this bar now select this beam okay sorry Select this beam, okay. Now select this beam and delete these beams. 
now this is will be our foundation okay so now this one and this one also control this one so delete this also so this will be our foundation okay now go to general then define it i'm defining it as a rectangle concrete section um three and this will be four okay let's click on add and just go to assign to view so the whole structure will be assigned you can it will look like that go to 3d rendering you can see that whole structure has been assigned okay so now go to supports click on supports create support and add it now this simply select the supports here now select the bottom of nodes and just assign them okay so the supports have been assigned to this okay you can see the supports have been assigned now go to loads and definitions go load case details add it add a dead load okay add it add a live load add load case to add it now in dead load you have to add a self weight first of all add a self weight and a member load of minus 4 kilonewton per meter add it simply a member load here also in the live loads minus 2 okay just add it simply now self weight go to self weight and assign to okay assign this now go to member loads i'm going to assign this to a top beam okay top of the beam select the top beam so now assign this to the beams okay similarly this lie load to this beam okay yeah, assign this to select the beam similarly you can see like that the structure has been assigned okay so now okay so now you can see go to analysis pane click add close then does run analysis here too so i'm checking the errors whether there is errors or not so now there are zero errors so finally the structure has been imported finally and analyzed also so if you like my video then do like share and don't forget to subscribe thank you